The chain rule is a very useful rule for differentiating more complicated functions like the one I'm showing you here y equals 4 times in brackets 3x plus 4 all to the power 5. Now if we wanted to differentiate this what we're trying to find is dy dx but it's a little bit more complicated in this situation because we've got a little individual sub-function within the brackets as well as the overall function on the right hand side of the equation. Now what you can do to differentiate this is a process called the chain rule and what you have to do first of all is let some new variable, let's use a u, equal the function inside the brackets. So in this case I'm going to let u equals 3x plus 4. Now what this allows you to do is rewrite your y equation and instead of 3x plus 4 we'll put u. So now we've just got y equals 4u to the power 5. Now the chain rule is this. It says that to work out dy dx what you can do is work out dy du which is our new variable and multiply this by du dx and that will give you your answer. And if you treat these just like fractions, which you can sort of do, you can see that you can cancel out the du's and you just get back to your dy dx, which is what you're trying to find out. So basically what you've got to do is work out your two bits, so your dy du bit and your du dx bit. So firstly, the dy du bit. So what we're trying to work out is how our y function varies with respect to u not with respect to x. So our y function is y equals 4u to the power 5. So dy du is going to equal, well we take the 5 down the front, multiply it by the 4, multiply that by the u, and reduce the power by 1. So 5 minus 1. And this just becomes 20 times u to the power 4. So that's what dy du equals. The next thing we've got to do is work out the other half of our chain rule which is du dx. So how does our function u vary with respect to x? Well first up we've got to rewrite what u is. u equals 3x plus 4 because that's what we let u equal. So dy, sorry, du dx, well 3x is just a 3 in front of just an x so it's just going to become 3 and then the 4 is just a constant so this becomes a 0 when we differentiate it. So I've made a mistake there. I shouldn't have put a 4 there because the derivative of 4 with respect to x is just 0. And now I've screwed up and corrected the wrong thing. So I'm going to rub both of these out and let's try again. So u equals 3x plus 4 which I'm going to rewrite in here, and du dx is going to equal just 3. Well, here I'm going to write 3x to the power 0, because the power reduces by 1, and effectively that's 3. Phew, so I got there in the end, du dx equals 3. So now we go back to our original chain rule, and we rewrite it out, so dy dx equals dy du times du dx, but now we know what both of these terms are. So, instead of dy du, we can write 20u to the power 4, and instead of du dx, we can just write 3. Now the tricky thing to do here now is remember that u is actually a function itself. So, first I'll multiply the 3 by the 20, we get 60u to the 4, but instead of u now, we can sub back in what u is equal to. So u equals 3x plus 4. So instead of writing u, I'm going to write 3x plus 4. And remember, it's all raised to the power of 4.